Hi, it's Peter from Mechanics, mate. Today we're going to show you the use of our enthusiast range of our um, puller kit. The reason why is because all our videos have basically been showing you on the professional series, and the professional is very, very fast. So the enthusiast range is designed as an entry level, um, and you can stay at that level, no problem at all. It just depends on usage. Um, and we try, try to differentiate, but it is all upgradable. So what we want to do is we want to show you how long it will actually take with this and show you that it's still pretty fast and easy, but it's not as fast as the professional as you would expect. All right, so in our harmonic balancer standard set, this is what you'll find. You'll get a hand pump, you'll get a 10 ton cylinder with through hole, all right? And what you'll also do is you'll get a three jaw attachment that's got O-ring on there to hold the jaws in position. It's only for positioning, it doesn't actually hold on tight. And we've just got a general slotted um, puller attachment. Now on top of that we have um, eight piston ends and then we have three extensions. The extensions you can run singly like that or what you can do is you can, to extend and then you can just stack them all if you've got something really long. These have O-rings on them to hold them in position. You'll see when we actually go to use it. And then we also have another piston end. So the piston end is just sitting in the end of the cylinder. The O-ring stop it from falling out. The other piston end on here goes in here and we use that for installs along with a threaded shaft. We can supply a threaded shaft with, with the kit, um, but that is an optional extra and again depends on what engines you're playing with. This suits an LS, this is just a standard um, all thread, it's high tensile steel, this is uh, M16. Alright, so you get different threads for different ones, or we can also provide you with our installation shafts that actually, we machine them up, we have a hex drive on the end of them and we have the thread to suit. Now they are a little bit more expensive but they are also available and we generally sell them as part of our professional series. In addition to this, there are limitations with the three jaw. Um, there is a size limitation with this. You go down too small and it will, the jaws will slip off because if the jaws are pointed in like that, when it puts the load on there, it will want to open the jaws up. So we do also have a smaller three jaw port version. So you have a look at the difference in size. So this gets in onto very small parts and again, so but it has a limited range obviously. So we have a look. Just clicks on, just like that. As every as every attachment does. So it's all fast and easy to change over. So let's see in action. We're going to need this one because this is a LS3 style balancer. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our pump and put it on the ground, it just makes it easier. We'll put on our attachment on here and grab our piston end, open the jaws up, slide it in. All right, now we're going to just attach this on. Okay, she's on there. Now we're going to have to take up the slack first. Now this cylinder is 10 tonne. It's fantastic when you've got something that's very tight. Normally we don't need more than five tonne to do a job like this. And only, on average it's about two and a half to three tonne. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit less. There you go, we haven't put enough spaces in there. Alright. What you should do is you should check to make sure your piston end sticks out so that it actually will work and push against it. All right, so let's go again. Now, all right, let's take up the slack now. If you also notice on here, we've got a, 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 a spacer on the back of the cylinder. What we do is we use that for install, okay? So that is, a, again, another optional extra. All right, there we go. It just started moving. Take that off, slip over, grab the extension. This cylinder has three quarters of an inch of stroke or 20 millimeters, approximately. So these spaces are 18 millimeters difference in length between them. So what we can do, Now this is where you've got to be careful and know the stroke limitation on your balancer. 
All right, we're out of stroke on here. All right, now we just come in. We'll put the next extension piece in. And this will come off now. It actually doesn't need much more stroke. All right. That's it. She's off. So that's how, that's how long it will take with this way. As you can see, we've had to do it three times. We just missed out uh, in length with the shorter spacer. Um, and again, just missed out with the second spacer. It's just, it depends on the engine, depends on, on a lot of things. Uh, we use the other three jaw. We'll just generally get off in two bites. Now to put this on, you just come in, put in position. We'll use our piston ends and high tensile all thread. So you just buy it from your local box supplier. Make sure it is high tensile because if you don't, you got 10 ton on here, you'll break them and you don't want to be in a position where uh, it breaks and so it flies out at you. Again, what you should try and do is you should never have put your head in the way. I did on this video. Um, that's not a smart thing to do. All right, so have a look in here. We're installing now. All right. Now, if you come in and have a little bit of sticky beak behind here, you'll see there's just a little bit of a gap. So you'll need, with this cylinder on the LS, you always need just that extra little bit. All right, now we're taking it the rest of the way. And that's it. That's done. We'll take the shaft out. Now, as you can see, we haven't worked too hard. Um, and it's reasonably easy. This has come off reasonably easy. 10 tonne. Um, no problems of getting the tightest one of these off. Alright, so that shows you where we are. Again, the three jaw puller works exactly the same way. The, other, the larger one. Same sort of scenario. If you have a look on here, it's only just missing out on this, on this LS3 style of balancer where the jaws are pointing a little bit. The other problem is, is on the back of the puller, it's sloped out that way, which drives the jaws off. So that's why we had to develop a smaller one, which works and suits other vehicles as well. So you have that, you have the slotted one for your, your small block Chevys, your Fords, all that sort of stuff, all your old traditional style balances. And um, yeah, that's what we've got. All right, so that's um, Peter from Mechanics, mate. Stay tuned, we're gonna do a few more different videos. Um, and you've probably already seen some of the other ones. So yeah, you can see we're gonna do a little bit more on this particular product so you can see what you're getting for your money. Thank you very much.